Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name's Anushka. So today I'm gonna to be trying some products that I've been dying to try, um, that I've been put to the side for a while now in my drawers. I'm gonna try and play with some makeup chill out so today's post notification shout out is going to go to inaya xx so thank you so much for all the love and for your really sweet comment i really appreciate it if you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and let me know in the comments below when you've done so but the first thing i always do when i do my makeup is my brows obviously and i thought i'll do my brows today because we got some new products well um i first went out and got this wc WBC Co. It's the soap brows, the original brow soap, and I've seen this a lot on Instagram. And it actually comes with a spoolie too. This is what the product looks like. It comes in like this metal tin, and it's just basically a pot of soap. I'm just gonna spritz it quickly with some setting spray, and I'm just gonna work the spoolie in. And I actually used this yesterday, and it didn't do too bad. The brush, the spoolie actually came bent like this. And you're supposed to like really push it into your brows. I can't say like I prefer it to my got to be gel. But the only good thing I like about this, it does lift to be honest. But at least there's no like gel residue on the sides and like it doesn't mess up my makeup sometimes. And the dried up gel on the edges do can like sometimes make my makeup look a bit weird. Okay, I'm just going to let that dry for a bit. Do you know what? Am I going to use it? Yes. Would I repurchase this product? I don't know, I'll probably, I, right now I don't think so, but like, you don't know with time, I probably might like it even better. The next product we have is the Huda Beauty Bomb Brows Micro Shade Brow Pencil. I got, I'm using the shade Black Brown. This is what the packaging looks like, and you get a spoolie on one end, and the product on the other end. This is how much product you get on there, although I have used it a little bit, but it's so thin. Can you guys see that? My micro brow pencil, which I thought was one of my thinnest brow pencils that I had, that's the pencil compared to my micro brow pencil by NYX. It's so, the, the Huda one is so tiny. Now, the only thing I would say is like a little bit, a little bit did break off this one actually, because, <sighs> You know, I, I can be a bit aggressive sometimes and this is so thin, so you have to be gentle with it. I mean, that's one of the sacrifices that you have to take when you do a really, really thin brow pencil. But I'm like, so, I'd rather have a, I'd rather be careful with my thin brow pencil than have like a thick brow pencil. Do you know what I mean? Like, I love the precision this gives. It gives that like hair-like strokes. I did post a video on my Instagram, so you can check that video out if you like. But um, this is really, really good, guys. You have to really make sure you don't take too much product out. And voila. I mean, look at the difference. Look at the difference. Okay, so those are my brows done. I'm just gonna take some of my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Sand. Guys, there's something really sketchy going on with this lockdown, okay? Because if you guys didn't know, and if you're not in the UK, we're still in lockdown here. Um, I don't know how it is everywhere else. It seems like most places are in a lockdown in sort of some sort. Our Prime Minister said that things are going to get back to normal around, well, he's given a specific date of 21st of June. You know, people have been making their plans and everything. Now, please tell me why they've extended furlough till September. Like, is there some sketchy plan going on i don't even know what's going on guys like it just makes no sense and furlough basically is where like workers can get paid because they're not able to work because their work is closed down due to lockdown do you know what i mean like like restaurants and non-essential shops it just makes no sense whatsoever and can we just please go back to christmas when they said oh we're all gonna have a lovely beautiful christmas and then bam they just was they were just like no nope. That ain't gonna happen. So next we're gonna be trying out the Urban Decay Naked Wild West palette. We've got some beautiful shades in here. The first shade that I wanna grab is Ghost Town. Okay, pigment. And then I'm gonna get grab the shade Nudie. Just help me burn this shade out. 
Oh my god, guys. I, yesterday I watched uh, a really like cool show. Not show, film. Yeah, the film's called Escape from Pretoria, um, which, it, which just um, talks about how these guys escaped this prison in South Africa. And it's based on a true story, which I was actually quite shocked about. Um, and honestly, oh my God, I don't think I could, I couldn't hand the, handle the film. Like it was just one of those intense, like thriller films, like drama thriller, not like in a scary way, but like getting caught way. I couldn't take it. Like, I'm like, oh my God, the guy's coming. Like bloody hurry up, what are you guys doing? It was really good. So I definitely recommend it. It was on Amazon Prime. Um, but yeah, I don't, there's nothing new that, you know, like, that I'm like, wow, I need to watch right now. Apparently Conjuring 2 is coming out this year, which I'm so excited about. Okay, the next shade I really want to take in here, I want to take the green, guys. I want to take the green, the matte green, yeah. So I'm going to take the shade Tex. Ooh, look at that. Do you know what? I'm actually really surprised with the pigmentation of this palette compared to other like Urban Decay palettes. This has got some really nice deep matte pigmented, pigmented um, shades in here. Because when I think about Urban Decay palettes, I don't think about like beat beat. Do you know what I mean? Like I just feel like, you know, the everyday woman that wants like a nice quick eyeshadow, like editorial. But this green, this green is giving me life. It's really pretty, guys. Just making sure that it's nicely blended. So I'm just going to take some of my NYX glitter glue. Just apply this all over the lid. And I'm going to take the shade Hold'em. I'm telling you guys, NYX Glitter Glue just makes any shade, any glitter or metallic shade look intense. So I'm just applying it on this side too. I'm just gonna go back with the green. Wow. Wow. Okay, wow. I really love that shade. Like these colors go so well together. But I do also have the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. Um, I mean, this look is just like perfect on its own, honestly, but I really want to try this. I might just put a little layer on it. I've been wanting to try this product for years now. This is in the shade Kitten Calm. I think this is the most popular shade. I'm just going to apply this right over the glitter shadow. I mean, I'm not gonna do too much because I still want that gold to come through. So I don't wanna cover it that much, but it's like, this stuff is pigmented. If you want it to like be pigmented, it will be pigmented. But just look at that glow. It's like a glittery liquid eyeshadow. But it's more glittery than anything else. Do you know what? My first impressions on the palette, like a good nine out of 10, like, I definitely see myself using this when I go out and stuff. Like there's some pretty shades in here. Uh, there's some like everyday shades I can wear like to the office and stuff if I want to. But I really appreciate like the pigmentation in this palette is definitely way more than their other palettes. So yeah, really, really surprised about this one. So now I'm just gonna curl my lashes. I'm gonna use my Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I'm not gonna like focus too much on my mascara because I've got a pair of lashes that I've been wanting to try. So here I've got some Doll Beauty lashes in the style Ava. You can use them up to 20 times. You don't get glue in these, but do you know what? I've been wanting to try these. These look really wispy. Um, there was a little bit of fallout from the eyeshadow palette. I'm just gonna take that off. But it's not nothing too major. I just realized my skin is so dry right now. Good layer of SPF. By the way, a lot of you were worried about my <clears throat> mole that was painful. It's not as painful anymore, but I'm still gonna get go get it checked um, because it does look funny. It doesn't look as round anymore. 
I don't know, I've been referred to the clinic straight away, so we'll see. Um, I'm gonna use my NYX Marshmallow Primer. So funny, as soon as it comes out of the tube, it kind of like foams up. Oh my God, I love the smell of this stuff. Okay, so for foundation today, we're gonna be using the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream Color Correcting Full Coverage, and it's got a natural finish. It has the SPF 30, and I have the shade Medium 355. It's warm with golden undertones. I've been seeing this everywhere on Instagram. Apply one to two pumps onto clean skin. Oh, I think I got the right shade. I bought this online. It's actually very thick, and I'm just gonna use my sponge. Oh, I was really close to going darker than this, but I'm so glad I didn't, because it's definitely a bit on the warmer side. But it's more, it's a shade that I see myself using like for summer. Oh, this is applying really nice. It has blended so nicely. You don't even need that much. I feel like I put a lot. And it covered like really well. It's definitely full coverage. For concealer, I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer and I use the shade 3N. This makeup is coming together. I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade Medium to set that in place. I am gonna make sure that I wash my brushes instead of just having like a big dump of them. I'm gonna start washing as I go. I say that all the time, I'm gonna do it. I've put them to the side and I'm gonna wash them because I feel like my creative side comes out when I have clean brushes. If my brushes are dirty, I don't really like put much effort into like the creativity of my looks I just do more like natural everyday looks oh my god guys this is another one that I'm like why haven't I used this the Anastasia Beverly Hills powder bronzer in the shade saddle well you know what this one looked really nice packaging is so pretty I've only heard good things about this stuff so I'm not gonna lie, the CC cream does feel a little bit sticky to the touch, um, but I would definitely use less next time. I feel like I put way too much. It's a full coverage product, but I put so much on it of it. Oh my God, so the next thing is the Milani Wild Rose Powder Blush, a rose pink shade. I usually go for like peaches. No, love that. Everything's just applying like butter, literally. I've been obsessed with the Charlotte Tilbury light wand. It's in, I think the shade is Glowgasm. But this is what it looks like. And it just has like this sponge thing on the tip. And I just kind of just blend it out with my fingers. It's just so pretty. It gives like that wet skin glow that I love. Love this stuff. Even just on like bare skin, it's so beautiful. Um, and then finally, I have this nude lipstick. I'm gonna use my Mac Cork lip pencil. And this is the Is Iskra's nude. Colorish lipstick by L'Oreal. I actually got this on Amazon. Oh my god, I love this. It's so creamy. It smells so nice too. Obviously, I'm going to use some of the green. Okay, so it's now 6.50. I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day and we're gonna see how this looks. I'm not gonna wear it for too long, um, but I feel like around three I'll sign out. But I mean, 
it looks flawless like my skin looks like butter 10 out of 10 for the bronzer love the blush love the cc cream so far we're gonna wear it today so we'll see uh love the eyeshadow palette the kit and karma liquid shadow by Stila. the lashes are bomb um even the soap brows are not too bad but i feel like when i do my soap brows i'm gonna have to wipe any residue so yeah i'm gonna sign out and we'll be back later on and we'll see what the foundation looks like like at least six hours you know around 12 but i'll try and push it to nine around three you know nine hours is a good time i feel like so we'll see how this looks later on today all right guys it's now 3 22 p.m uh i've taken my lashes off so i feel a bit naked but oh my god like if you just look at my face don't it just look like i just put my makeup on like nothing has budged um my lip has come off because when i was eating i just wiped it off like this cc cream is so good the only thing i would say is like it's quite greasy <laughs> like my face is shining like can you see that like greasy so and i set that area i don't know if the primer helped as well but it, it stayed on so well but i just feel like i wouldn't put as much and i would definitely use a bit more powder um no smile lines even though i put a lot of product the only thing i would say is like there's some gathering going on here you know when it kind of just like gathers in one area but apart from that like i would give this cc cream a good 9 out of 10. i feel like the greasiness is a bit much but i love the coverage the application the shade um it's actually pretty good i love it guys um love the eyeshadow like literally hasn't budged it has budged here because i kept like rubbing my eye bronzer is looking beautiful highlighter blush like my face just looks like i just did my makeup so yeah i'm pretty happy with the results it's been like around nine hours or so so i'm quite happy with this face right now you know so yeah that's it from me guys i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to join the family and yeah i'll see you in my next video